Hello students, I am Amita Gupta. Welcome to the DG classes of Christchurch Common Gardevara. Today we are going to study chapter 1 of supplementary reader of class 8 that is from the Stone Age to Copper Stone Age. Now let's understand Stone Age. You must know about prehistorical condition of any city, region or country through geographical discovery and through tools, coins, etc. found in incubation. These things present the glory of that period authentically. As the Stone Age is considered to be the period when men begin to protect themselves from wild animals with the help of weapons made up of stones. As you can see in this picture how men themselves protect from the wild animals. At that time, men roam in forests on mountains and in river valleys and live on fruit, roots or hunting animals. These all are the sources for their living. After understanding what is the Stone Age, let's see how Stone Age is being classified. During this period, men expressed his artistic taste through wall painting. The chronological sequence of the prehistoric culture you can see in this flowchart. As Stone Age is being classified in three types, that is Pre-Stone Age, Mid-Stone Age and New Stone Age. Pre-Stone Age is being further classified in three types. That is lower pre-stone age, mid-tree stone age, and post-tree stone age. Stone tools have been found in pre-stone age. The stone tools have been classified into several categories according to size and shape. Several stages of development have been found in the age. As pre-stone age is further classified in three subcategories. That is lower stone age mid pre stone age, post pre stone age. After understanding the pre stone age, let's understand the subcategory of pre stone age individually. Lower pre stone age. In this age, men live on the river banks or in the caves. The special tool of this period was hand axe. The axe was either used with wooden handle or without it. Besides, this clever fist held tool and some other tools were used. As you can see in this image how these tools were hold and being used. Moving further, the second subcategory of pre stone age is mid pre stone age. In mid pre stone age, tools have been discovered in the valleys of Chambal, Betwa and Narmada in Madhupuri. In this age, the tools became smaller and sharper. The art of making tools in this period was different. The long tools were carved out of the prehistoric rocks, while shots were carved out from, uh, from different stones. The examples of mid pre stone age are jasper, chart, flint, etc. Post pre stone age is the third subcategory of pre stone age. Here, stone tools have been found at many places in Shahdol, Mansour, Sihor, Indore, etc. In post pre stone age, men used to sustain on hunting and catching animals. Men during those days used bones of animals and fish as a tool along with ornaments made up of beds and shells, for example, scrapers, semicircular tools, etc. As you can see in this image, how these all tools look like. Moving further, let's understand the second subcategory of stone age, that is midstone age. As this age belongs to a new period of geology, the men of this period was a hunter and collector. The implements in this age were small, such as sickle, knife, etc. The men also began painting on earthen pots and pitchers. You can see in this image how beautifully the men used to paint the pots and uh, other things. As far as painted caves are concerned, Madhya Pradesh is very rich. Wall paintings found in Madhya Pradesh are of global importance. The wall paintings of mid stone age have been found in Madhya Pradesh, like Sagar, Sihor, Raisin, Guna, etc. 
about 70% of wall paintings are found in Madhya Pradesh. These paintings show the culture and other activities of that period. Here, large coins of prehistoric age have been excavated, which are of great archaeological importance. As below, you can see the images. The last subcategory of Stone Age is Neo Stone Age. This was the period when men began to give up the nomadic lifestyle and started living at one place. The implements of this age have been found in Jabalpur, Hatta, Sagar, etc. During this period, men took his first step towards civilization. Men began cattle rearing, earthen pot making, weaving of clothes, house building, use of fire, and many more. Now, let's understand a new type of stone age, that is copper stone age. In this age, along with stone implements, people started using implements made up of metal in India. Copper was used in the beginning. That's why this age is known as copper age. To fulfill the need, men discovered bronze because men realized that copper is not useful for hard implements. The copper stone age has been found in Madhya Pradesh in the river valley of Narmada, Chambal and Betwa. During this period, a lot of changes can be observed in the activities of men like dance, music, etc. So students, by now, I hope you all understand that what are the subcategories of stone age, how the stone age has been evolved, how the stone age has been converted to the copper stone age.